Before I introduce our student speaker, I'd like to share a few thoughts with you about this graduating class. Class of 2019, you've done it. You've completed your DVM, your academic program, or your residency at UC Davis, the country's premier veterinary school, a global leader in veterinary science. You, you're, yeah, you can holler at that one. That's good. <laughs> You are part of the reason we are preeminent. Since the formation of the school in 1948, we've been leaders in veterinary medicine by serving the public through teaching, research, and service programs. We address societal needs by working for the benefits of the health of animals, people, and the environment in California and beyond. Our school and its alumni have shaped the field of veterinary medicine for developing innovative educational programs to discovery of mechanisms of disease of animals and humans. As students here, your contributions mattered. You brought new ideas, new questions. While we taught you, you pushed us to improve. You came to us with a strong desire to gain the knowledge and skills of a great profession and a passion to advance animal health. You are graduating into a world of great promise and as you've heard, many challenges. You are now part of the groundbreaking history of UC Davis's School of Veterinary Medicine and you have enriched our school's history with your own unique characteristics that bond you to us and to each other. Forgive us if we demanded more from you than you thought you could give, but your belief in yourself and your hard work has gotten you to this moment. Spend some time in the moment. While fleeting, this is a time to relish the warmth of your family's love and in the friends around you. My message to you today is to reflect on your time here and cherish the memory for the short four years you've spent training with us. This cohort in particular has had to support each other through some very difficult times. You have inspired us and each other. You all came to us to learn and in the process you've taught us many life lessons. You have de deepened the school's legacy with your own unique stories as you face the challenges of learning the sometimes daunting scope that Dr. Stevenson just reminded us of, and you found the time to create amazing memories, organize events, come together as a group of strangers, and then form deep bonds that will last forever. What differentiates the class of two, 2019 is compassionate caring for each other, your strong desire to learn knowledge and skills as veterinarians that change the world. You demonstrated from the very beginning of your time with us that you wanted to be better at clinical reasoning, you wanted to be better at communication with non-medical professionals, better at caring for all living things, including yourselves. You also appreciated your education as challenging as it could be, and the faculty delivered it. Your class, and listen to this, clapped after every lecture. You showed your appreciation by drawing and signing cards at the end of your blocks. You formed friendships with staff and faculty, and in some cases, that will last a lifetime. You took pride in serving as your mentors who are guiding you along the way. You are forgiven for almost killing Dr. William Verneau, who in your class <laughs> the very first year fell down the stairs during your finals. We are all grateful he survived to continue to mentor you and, and form those friendships. This DVM class also represented the shifting composition of the veterinary profession. Our goal is to reflect the diversity of the population of California. Change, while it is slow, it is occurring. And your class is evidence of our determination to get there. The class also came to us with a variety of life experiences that added to our community. Whether arriving as an engineer, a baker, a business person, a musician, or a researcher, you're all leaving united in your dedication to improving the world the veterinary, through the veterinary profession. You've also been the class that experienced changes on our campus that included phasing out of old scrubs and into the new scrubs. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> as you know, the new one has had a troubled spring and is under repair. On the bright side, you did get to experience the new food trucks and coffee trucks in the parking lot. So there is a bright side. Obviously, you don't agree with that. <laughs> I must say, you are a very cool class with many unique talents. Farron Peterson deserves a shout out for her jockeying success. 
She's, she's juggled school and internships with her horse racing aspirations. She would drive down to Golden Gate Fields in San Francisco to be on her first horse at 6 a.m., but somehow made it back to Davis to complete her studies and clinical duties. Her persistent paid off. She won her first gold race at Golden Gate on an appropriately named horse, Lovely Lioness. That gave her a chance to race at Del Mar, where she came in fourth in her very first race riding Chocolate Goddess. It must have been a sweet ride. <laughs> there is an endearing side to this class. For some reason, you really like puns. <laughs> Michael Hung is your ringleader. Where's Michael? Right there, OK. He crested during his clinical years with puns like, quote, what do you call a cancer specialist that is on call all of the time? An onologist. I know you're all rolling your eyes. Oh, Michael, I have one for you. What do you call a talented veterinary student who makes up daily puns? Michael, unbelievable DVM. Since we are on the subject of clinical ear, it was a time of much growth and learning. Some of you re reportedly learned that ear thermometers do not go rectally. <laughs> Your class has persevered through unwarranted levels of personal tragedy. You've overcome catastrophic injuries, loss of family members, and other adversities. However, you've continued to push through and support each other, knowing that I want to take a moment to recognize Amanda Gordon and Megan Richmond, who are inspiring us. You both survived terrifying accidents and have persisted to reach your goals. We are so proud of, of you today. Can we please recognize Amanda and Megan? I'm sure we also want to remember the animals you loved and lost during your time here. Your love of animals is a central driving force that brought us together, so losing them is always difficult. The pets that you loved and cared for and lost during your journey include Jasper, Teacup, Teddy, Patty, Mickey, Cleo, Indy, Sugar, Tiggs, Sophie, Anakin, Skittles, and Chili. Your class has a track record for giving back to society and for volunteering, whether it's helping the homeless with your pets or the incredible response shown during the California fires. In doing so, you have touched many lives of animals and people. We thank you for your contributions. You have supported each other through these years and made it here today. The many hours of study and exams and along the countless time spent with your animal patients, they're the tip of the iceberg it took to get you to this moment. Each of you has your own unique story. Each of you has overcome barriers faced out from others and in yourself and endured heartbreaking events that may have changed your path along this voyage. But graduates, I know you would not be here today unless you possess the trait that's critical to your success as much as knowledge and skills learned in veterinary school. You are all resilient in your own way. You had to be resilient to be sitting here. Resiliency is defined as the ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. Life happens, as you've heard, while we're making plans. When this happens, remember the words of Steve Covey, American author of the best-selling book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He's quoted as saying, live your life by a compass, not a clock. You may know your direction, just as a compass knows true north, but life does not follow a rigid schedule, and opportunities come in the most untimely moments. Listen for these moments. When this happens, I urge you to let passion be your guiding principle and trust your resilience. It will be a foundation of your courage to follow your dreams. What I constantly observe and love about veterinarians in their strong, is their strong sense of resolve in the face of difficult tasks that confront them in their work and in their personal lives. We have worked to provide, to support you and help you manage life difficulty. It's important for you to continue to care for yourselves and to seek help when you need it, as we all do from time to time. Also, keep the bonds that you forged here, 
They'll always be with you and for each other. Members of the class of 2019, you have endured the many years of study, blood, sweat, and tears to put yourself in this position to fulfill your dreams and join this great profession. You have already worked through difficult setbacks and unfamiliar un and unfailingly got the job done, demonstrating your perseverance and your passion, relishing the success today. Let your courage carry you forward and your resilience guide you as you address the problems of our society. Congratulations to each one of you on this day of celebration from the bottom of my heart.